Hello, and welcome back to the after show. This week's after show is X Files. It's back, Woo! season ten. Woo! The truth is still out there. Yeah, and spoiler alert, obviously. Was the yes, truth major what you thought it was going to be, Michael? No. Well, kind of, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was, I was both happy. Okay, so no matter what, you can't stop me from being absolutely in love with this ep- with this series already because it's still X Files, and I love Mulder and Scully so much. But um, the twists, first of all, so wait, yeah, yeah, we're this is this is all spoilers, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. If I understand, if I remember everything correctly, which I really hope I do, since I was just kind of flipping out the entire time, um, it was basically just yeah. The truth is basically that it the government is the one, or not necessarily the government, but some group is trying to take over the world. But they're humans. Illuminati yeah. confirmed. Yeah, basically. Which, which, but but it did still admit that there were aliens. So I was happy with that, and I loved the amazingly awesome alien human hybrid spacecraft that was fantastic oh the ARV oh, yeah. yeah they look spectacular it was and this the one thing I have to say about this episode was that the entire nine seasons before it you were never given such a dramatic yeah they're there <laughs> it was never quite in your face as it is in this episode yeah I think the only reason it's it, as in your face in this episode is because it's been god knows how long since the last one yeah, but like it wasn't the oh, is it there or is it not there? Is it really what it looks like? It's just straightforward. Yeah, it's, it's there. alien. It's, it's there. <laughs> Deal with it. We're moving on. Yeah, it's aliens, but it's not aliens. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed it, and that's from someone who hasn't seen any X Files. You need to go back went... and watch all nine seasons. No, I intentionally yes. went to this without seeing any previous episodes because I wanted to see what it was like. Watching this totally out of context as someone who may not have, who might have grown up without X Files, would do, and I wanted to see if it still worked without any of the other context, and it did. It worked really well. Yeah. How? But, but did you understand some of the scenes between Mulder and Scully though, like, like the really awkward scenes at first? Like why they sort of hated each other but didn't. Not really. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, I mean, because, you know, they've been in spoilers for the rest of the series, if you guys haven't seen it, or David. Um, yeah, they were you know, romantically involved at the end of the series, and they had just finally, finally actually gotten together at the very end, and clearly stuff has happened, and they have a son. Yeah. And there's alien DNA. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, see, I, I knew bits and pieces about that. I knew that they'd sort of, I didn't know that they'd sort of hooked up, hooked up, but I knew they'd sort of been hinted at being in a romance. I knew that she'd been pregnant at one point, but I didn't know what had happened to that pregnant. They stole her baby. Um, yeah, I, did, I, I gathered that from the episode, Michael. <laughs> no, no, not this one. This is a, I'm talking about the, a different one. Yeah, I know. Um, okay. I know, I know, I um, know. So I, I, did know, I didn't go in sort of knowing nothing, but I knew relatively little. So. Do they like stealing her babies? Yeah, though they they sort of impregnate you, impregnate you with sort of half human, half alieny stuff, and then yes, and then but of like but the baby. yeah, a big part of this was like they talk about like these like the alien human the aliens that they went up against that they were actually fake and they were really tricks played on them which I didn't I wasn't really sure how to feel about it like they deal with these aliens like these this human alien like colonists and everything and it's. It's all this huge part of the series, and then they're kind of basically saying it wasn't really aliens. Yeah. And I'm kind. Of, I was kind of upset with that, but I still loved the show. Yeah. yeah. Season two, episode two, is in 52 minutes. <laughs> you cannot wait. Count, count them down, are we? Yes, yes, I am. I mean, you saw my post last night. I mean. <laughs> Uh, I'm flipping out. It's basically, See, the, problem, it's basically... the problem with Michael right now is he is snowed in under about a million years worth of snow. Like we're talking Hoth level of snow. <laughs> Did you see the post I showed yeah, with, with the, the new the East Coast ra- the East Coast s- rating system? Or, uh, it's a chunk, yeah, it's a chunk of cardboard. It's just these different lines. Yeah, it's like, Hoth is like the second one. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't remember what the first one. I think the first one was Narnia. And it, it was, was Narnia. Then it was Hoth. <laughs> Then it, then it was something else, and then after, it was the winter. Day after tomorrow, and then... Yes, then winter is coming. Then winter is coming. 
<laughs> but honestly, I mean, it, it was, I'll tell you, it, it, it's been hell. Uh, this was the fourth time I was out shoveling, okay? Yeah. I have been shoveling four times now. Twice yesterday during the snow, and then once this morning, and then once just, that's what I was literally doing, if you didn't explain that already. That's why I was late to the podcast, because yeah. I was busy, because a plow had just come through, and it was almost dark, and we were like, oh, let's get this done. And so I am now free. I can leave if I want to. I'm just not allowed to because my parents won't let me. But, <laughs> um, um, no, as of tomorrow, I will be leaving the house and getting some time away from home. Fair. So the, Thank the, God. The, so, the point is, you're going stir-crazy because you've been stuck inside the house because of Snowmageddon. Oh, yeah. I'm, and I'm, as a result, I'm, I'm you're marathon. jonesing for anything you could possibly watch, which I have marathon. to be X-Files. Let me tell you, I've marathoned some X-Files, I've marathoned Heroes, I've marathoned Torchwood, I've marathoned... Why would um, you marathon wait, Heroes? Not, that's, that because, sounds more like a plan of listen, torture listen, than listen, anything else. Because, because it's one of the few things I have that I haven't seen all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, fair enough then. I'll, I'll accept that as an excuse. Yes. Um, I've marathoned uh, The 100. I, I watched... I caught up on all of the CW shows that just started... I need to go catch up on the Marvel shows. Um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of watching TV. Well, there's not much else you can do. Oh, I've also been playing Battlefront. Hours and hours and hours of Battlefront. I've been playing hours and hours of Ark Survival, but that's beside the point. David has, t- my brother has too. Yeah. I've been playing off and on Ark and Minecraft. Yeah. Yeah, okay. a lot of people are pissed off at Ark at the moment with all their recent patches. Yeah. Is your brother pissed so, that they made the gig effectively unkillable? I have no idea. All I know is that he hates Titan Boas because he keeps dying. Yeah, Psst. Swamp's hilarious. Yeah. That's, tell, him to, I... tell him to kibble tame a 120 wolf and they one-hit Titans. Boas. Just book death. I'd rather just watch him keep dying. Yeah. <laughs> that is equally as amusing. <laughs> Then anyway, what's funny is if his gubs is like right in front of him, he's running to them, and he's like, "Okay, I've got that. Picks it up. Turns out, bleh, it's out cold again." All That's I know it. is that he'll he'll be running, just running, 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 and running, and suddenly die. <laughs> and it says, "Killed by Titan Boa." And I just I'm sitting there next to him playing Battlefront, and laughing hysterically. <laughs> David, do you have Battlefront? No. Darn, I, I do. was hoping. I... Oh, we should play. Wait, yeah. what do you have it on? Uh, PC. Oh. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. PC Master Race. So you're talking you're talking to Australian internet here. Australian internet is somewhere between dial up and winding a crank on the side of a building to build up enough charge. <laughs> He's not joking either. It's not that bad. <laughs> to upload the podcast, which is just under fifty megabytes, takes me two hours. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. To upload the video file that I put onto YouTube for the podcast takes seven. That's why I do those at night while I'm asleep. Yes, I see. Because it takes all goddamn night. <laughs> but, but I'll tell you one more thing about the snow before we get back to X Files is that so my so today was supposed to be my first day of classes for the spring semester last. Friday they or Thursday, everything. they can't. They yeah, they can't. So last Thursday or Friday, they canceled. Um, they canceled move-in day, which was yesterday, for all the residents, which I am not one of, thank God. Um, to to Monday and canceled class on Monday, made it Tuesday. Then uh, Saturday, I think, or I think it was Saturday, they they canceled it, and moved. They again moved it one day, so classes began Wednesday, and. Moving day so have, was. Have they given up and just bumped it all the way to Monday yet? No, not yet. This uh-huh. morning they canceled. They canceled it again. So now my classes start on Thursday, and moving day is Wednesday. Now let me tell you something about Thursday. Thursday I have one class, a single lecture. Friday I have a class which has discussion, and then the classes lab, both of which are canceled because we didn't have a lecture for that class yet. So the only class I have this week is a single hour and fifteen minute lecture. Oh my Just good because I still haven't ordered my textbooks. Fail. Can't blame me. I'm not eager to spend another thousand dollars in textbooks. That is what Google is for. I'm well aware, but some of them are custom, so I can't use that. 
I hate universities that do that. Can you find uh, so a PDF file and use a e-reader? Of, of a custom one? No. Fucking custom BS. I know. Anyway, back to X-Files. Yeah, back to X-Files. Any, see, what do see, you the guys... university is secretly in charge of X-Files, and <laughs> the reason textbooks are so expensive is it costs a lot of money to make those human-alien hybrids. Ha! Did you did you guys hear that today, this morning, David Duchovny got his Hollywood fame, star of fame? Yeah. Yeah, I still, I still saw that. <laughs> I missed that one. Oops. Yeah, I was going to so say. You, I mean, missed out, you missed out on news, you're fired. <laughs> How many times has he been fired? Uh, I lost count. <laughs> I think that's the first time he's been fired in 2016, so... Yeah, it's the first time he's been fired in the after show. <laughs> But yeah, no, I was I was thrilled. I mean, obviously it was timed. It was meant to be, you know, yeah. in celebration of the X Files returning. But yeah, I, unfortunately, I they were broadcasting it live and I missed it. <laughs> wow. Uh, I slept until one thirty. So. One thirty in the morning. That's After pretty long sleeping. Yeah. I went to I went to bed at one in the morning and fell asleep. Woke up at one thirty in the afternoon. Unfortunately for me, regardless of what time I go to sleep in the morning, I still wake up at four thirty. <laughs> Every that day, sucks. Without fail, I can go to bed at three o'clock in the morning and still wake up at four thirty and be fully awake. You know, actually, that's kind of nice because I wish I could wake up whenever I want to. I have a Sonic alarm clock. It's made for the near death, and it still doesn't wake me up all the time. <laughs> yeah, my my phone is my alarm clock, and the reason my phone is my alarm clock is because the it's an app that connects to my computer in the lounge room. The only way for me to shut it up is to stand up, walk out to the lounge room. They click the thing on the computer. I like those ones. I like the one that's uh, that it has like a grenade on it. Yeah. And and basically it launches the grenade in the air and the pin flies out and you have to go find the pin and put it into the grenade to shut it up. Now, I like the helicopter one. My dad's got this helicopter <laughs> one. The alarm goes off. The helicopter takes off and flies across the room. And he's the problem was he got so used to it that at one point the alarm would go off, he would Jedi snatch the helicopter out of the air and put it back on the holster without <laughs> leaving the bed. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's like, wow. So I've been waking up in the, about 5.30 every morning. So, so anyway, I think we've rambled on long enough. X-Files, out of 10, go. Me or... Whatever. Um, I'll say... Premiere episode 7 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, I'd agree with that. Yep. So we're all agree in agreement for that. The ones who have watched it, yes. <laughs> I have the reason. Eight, so. The reason I say 7 out of 10, not anything higher, is because, of, again, that they basically shut down the, the rest of the alien stuff. Yeah. I think that was an, an interesting twist, though. Yeah, it was. It most certainly was. And it's always been a story about government conspiracy stuff. So. Alright, anyway, that's it for the after show. We've been rambling on pointlessly for about ten minutes. Totally yes, and I need to go prepare for the next episode of X-Files. No, you need to go prepare a bigger shovel to clean your front yard faster. I already did. I don't clear the front yard. What, do you guys in Australia actually clean your grass? We don't get snow. We live <laughs> in the equivalent of upside down California. Uh, yeah, that's right. We, we live an hour away from what we call the Gold Coast. Which, yes, I'm aware of this. And we, we live very close to the Sunshine Coast, which I'm pretty sure are both references to California. <laughs> <laughs> that's because the United States is the best. Nah. Yep. Yep. Sure you betcha. Alright, anyway, catch you guys later. Bye. Alright, bye guys. Let, let me know if we're doing this next week or not. Yep, we'll do. Right, I will not be there. All right. Catch gotcha. you. Have a good one. Bye. All right, bye. Bye.